What's up, boys? I'm severely pissed right now. I'll show you right now. Attack log. I just lost the stupidest battle ever. My forces are so stupid. I push. I put my forces in the middle right there with a rage spell, and they ended up getting pushed while I froze the thing. And look at them, so close off the town hall. They couldn't just focus on the town hall. They ended up focusing here instead. Wasting the time and wasting precious resources when they could have just died and got me the one star and I would have been okay. Instead, I, I lost 22 fucking stupid trophies, which I'm already at 2000, I was at 2700, 2720. Then I, then I went to 2700. Then I had to win a battle for eight. I, bro, the grind is so arduous. My, 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 my troops are not strong enough. I don't know the good, best strategy to like attack motherfuckers. Like motherfuckers, they usually look like this. Like this, motherfucker, man. This is my first search. <laughs> I can I can only get like one, two stars, yeah, two stars maximum, and I just lost twenty two over some stupid bullshit like that with a title was so. Bro, I'm addicted to Clash of Clans, and this gave me like a realization. Bro, all my emotions, my happiness emotions, my negative emotions, my sadness. I just did like a a set of eight pull ups. I just realized to myself, bro, all my emotions are tied into this stupid virtual game that doesn't mean anything to me. I'm addicted to Clash of Clans, bro. And I can delete it as much as I want. I can uninstall it as much as I want. But it wasn't. It won't solve the issue. The issue is that I'm addicted and I cannot solve that. <sighs> it's cracked in my soul. Honestly, the boys, honestly, boys, it's cracked in my soul. It's, it's soul crushing. Being addicted to this stupid game. All I want to do is just uninstall it and focus on other stuff. But I just installed it because I felt like it. Now it's actually fucking me up like bad. I'm seeing in real time how my emotions are directly tied into this virtual world, and I'm like, I can, I can uninstall it right now. Uninstall Clash of Clans. Uninstall. Bye bye, bro. I'll get it back within like a month, within a year, within this, within that, and it's gonna, it's gonna fuck me up even more. It's gonna fuck me up so royally. I, I won't even know like what direction to look at, honestly. I, 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 then like, I got money in my thing, and I got this, and I got that, I got the seasonal award, the season bank at the end, and I got the money in the clan castle, and then I want to spend it, and huh, 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 huh. bro, it's all temptation, and then I spent like, I had like 3,000 gems before, then I spent it all on like items in order to try to boost my level up, and try to help my thing, and in the middle of my my like the, the one week boost, I upgraded my arch queen because I felt like it, and this ended up actually costing me, because like now I got upgraded arch cream, I don't have the boost anymore, so my arch cream is actually weaker than before. And then oh my god, I can't attack as usual as much before because they heal really quick with the boost, the weekly boost. And bro, look at me talk. All oh, my emotions are tied into this shit. None of it's real. I want to top G, Rumble. Even though YouTube's a better platform. Because, like, Rumble, you can't even have playlists here. You can't download videos here. You can't... There's no channel structure here. YouTube has channel structure. Um, YouTube has, like, weird policies. But for the most part, if you're just like me, you won't really fall under these policies. I'm about to reach... I think I'm going to reach 100 subs soon, if anything. I have... How many videos? I have 44 videos I need to upload. What is 174 plus 44? What the fuck, man? 201. I'll be reaching my 200 video mark. I know, guys. I'm sick. I'm, 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 I'm really cool. 200 videos. Woohoo! Uh, a thousand something views. Bro, when I start... Boing the song. When I start... Editing like a madman, making shorts like crazy. Uh, 200 videos, like 20 30 minutes each. Bro, I have so much shorts content I could make. Motherfucker, man. Oh, oh man, I need to start selling a course or something. I just start selling a course, philosophy course. I don't know who would buy that, but someone would buy that. I shouldn't try to sell a body with a course. I'll try to sell maybe Facebook Marketplace. I stuff with Facebook Marketplace. I'm not I'm sure. Uh, it, at least with YouTube, like I could condense it. I could see like I was posting more than I. 
how do I say this? Consumed, so I felt as if I was like, I had a good, not necessarily balance, but I had a good ratio going on. But here, with Clash Clans, like the urges are real. And after, and after like, I deleted like I had just now, I'm gonna have to fight the urges for like about a week, about two weeks. That's how, that's how like addiction, that's how much time you need off away from what you're doing for the addiction to really settle, settle out. And then I'll, I'll have to get addicted to work. I'll have to get super busy with work. That's the only way I can cope or not necessarily cope. Cope is a bad word because cope means that you were trying to. Cope is a weak word in general. And man, I'm trying to compensate for something. I'm trying to. I don't know if I'm doing class or. Uh, I literally put the bottle up. Like here and I pushed it and then it went back and it ricocheted and it fell on the floor dude I don't like the word cope because cope implies that you are trying to be okay with the reality that you cannot change and I for the most part believe that you could change mostly anything about reality apart from perhaps familial death or friends and family death and that comes with all the time Time is a fire which we will burn. I. I think this addiction is gonna kill me. I have another video idea in mind. I think this addiction is generally gonna kill me. I, I keep hopping on from addiction to another addiction. If I can be purely addicted to my work, I can genuinely be happy. If I could get addicted to literally just working, just reading, just trying to grow, my happiness, like, it would go from right here, right now, because I'm just i I'm realising that I'm addicted to Clash of Clans because of the immense rage I feel from Clash of Clans, I'm losing some points. Now, let's say I get champion. Like, I'm master, I was Masters 2, two I was 280. 200, 280, uh, 2818, not 200, why do I keep saying 200, I'm a fucking schizo at this point man, I'm so tempted to dash this phone, but I know I'm going to break it this time, I'm 2818 points at my maximum, I'm like 2713, I actually remember that shit, I am 107 points away from my previous peak, if I get 20 points each battle, then I uh, I can, you know, I can successfully, with 20 points each battle, I can get there in 5 successful fights, which is like, pretty thing realistic. But I'm getting like 8, 10, to 15 at maximum trophies, not points, trophies per battle. So let's say 8 low ball. 8, 107 divided by 8. It would take 13 battles to get to where I was before. 13 times I need to fight. And in Clash of Clans, you can only fight like a few times a day. And with the po help of potions, which is literally, oh, it's all pay to win, it's a mobile game. With the help of potions, you can, you can do, uh, thing, do more damage. Motherfucker, man. Ugh. I had the ultimate boost, the comeback boost, but I wasted it. Because I wanted to upgrade my hero, because I, I was impatient and I suffered. I paid the price after. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave the game. This is what I wanted to do anyway, right? This is what, it's like, like you're stuck in a job, for example. And you don't really want to leave because you fell in love with that consistent paycheck and you know you're a victim of lifestyle inflation your job is shit you hate your life you hate your job but you just spend money you like the idea of being able to spend money in order to compensate that's lifestyle inflation by the way i'm feeling lifestyle inflation with fucking clash of clans and it's actually genuinely destroying me I, it, stick or twisting am i sticking or twisting when I play Clash of Clans, I'm sticking. I'm not twisting. I'm not changing the, the narrative. I'm not changing the meta. I'm not changing the landscape of opportunity that's present to me in my life. Playing Clash of Clans, fucking games, man. I hate games. I hate that shit. They're all a dis pointless fucking distraction. I wish someone, like a very long time ago, but they, they did tell me about the, uh, the natural mental nature of games, but they didn't just tell me. They just told me, oh, games and video games are bad. I'm like, oh yeah, bullshit. Back to the video game. Had I truly understood, had I seen a way out, had I comprehended that there could be something more fun in life, like making money, getting into shape, talking to women more, then my life would be immensely different, man. 
I'm caught up on my a, a Clash of Clans addiction. This shit, your phone is literally worse than weed. Studies show, shown from um, King's College um, London that they compared students but to, uh, that were high on weed comparative to students that were constantly checking their phone every so often. It showed that students who were checking their phone every so often were more fucking distracted and unfocused than motherfuckers on weed. This is a double-edged sword, and a sword is still a sword, mind you, but the sword face, the side facing you is incredibly sharp. And the side that you're facing outward to the life, to the to life, the opportunity that you could take, that's what I meant, to the life. So the opportunity you could take to life is incredibly more blunt in comparison to the side facing you. A sword is still a sword, you can flip that sword around and use it to, to face towards life. But motherfuckers, don't do that shit. What do you do? You spend your life addicted to Clash Clans. Oh, video games, okay. Spend life addicted, distracted, demotivated. You rely on bursts of motivation as if they're real. They're, motivation is all fake. I hate motivation. Alright? I used to stay up at 3am every single night in order to try to excrete motivation from me. How can't I just be productive during the day? I've wasted effectively my entire weekend now on the Clash of Clans, all the stupid shit. I remember today alone, I probably spent like an hour plus, two hours plus. Just sitting in my kitchen, my phone's charging, playing Clash of Clans. How much of a fucking bullshit activity is that? Maybe I should use my potions before I go. Maybe I should try to spend as much gold and elixir as much as I go. And then maybe someone won't raid me. And uh, uh, So why does someone raid me? So, so why does someone raid you? Who fucking cares? Jesus Christ. Who fucking cares? Stop playing Clash of Clans. Right. That game, the problem with that game is, I'll tell you the problem with that game is, it's a huge issue, it's a very big issue, and they'll never be able to fix it. Because if they did, they'll lose, they'll lose players, they will lose play base, and they don't want to lose play base. You know what that problem with Clash of Clans is? The game is too fucking good. The game is too good. And because the game is too good, you really can't stop playing, can you? Double-edged sword, ladies and gentlemen. I'll catch you guys.